targeting Jews, but if we can't come out of this teachable moment with a deeper commitment to truth and integrity and honesty and courage, then we're not going to be able to be consistent and learning what we need to, which is it man in humanity to man, the fact that we human beings treat each other so viciously in a variety of different ways. And so we've got to be concerned about the way Jewish folk are treated, the way Honduran folk are treated. Thank God for our dear brother Brian Flores and his great courage, the way brothers and sisters in Brazil are treated, the way Palestinians are treated, the way Tibetans are treated. We have to be consistent. That's the great message. Yes. And so I agree. I think the suspension is, is excessive, but if we don't come out more fortified than tied to honesty and integrity, it's just another PR moment, brother. Just another PR moment. <laughs> you know, I love her. You know, it's, it's interesting that you, you say West, that, Joshua, because he's I, very I, I, intelligent. I've heard that from many people, but there are others who say, no, she should have been, you know, uh, suspended. She should have been fired or what have you. But what good if someone, what is the incentive to apologize and to learn if you are still going to face the same consequences no matter what? Does, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I agree with you entirely. Um, you know, I think there's a broader issue here. I think we're in a strange moment in which we've lost one of the fundamental things we have to believe to live in a democracy, which is that most of the time, most of our fellow citizens are trying to do the right thing and can be decent people and are open to argument, are open to persuasion. And so, uh, you know, as a result, we get very worried. And we say we have to make sure that bad ideas aren't heard because they're going to influence people unduly. They're going to lead to these disasters. Um, and I understand those fears. There's a lot of terrible ideas out there. There's a lot of dangerous politicians running around. Um, but if you believe in democracy, as I do, you've got to believe that you're actually able to persuade people with the morally right and the factually right ideas. And the way to do that is not to make them scared, not to make them afraid, not to make them think if I somehow slip up and say something wrong, even if I'm as big a star as Whoopi Goldberg, I'm just going to go and be banished and punished and so on. Uh, it is to actually have real discussions and point out forcefully why would the Goldberg was wrong in her comment, uh, but also accept with grace when she says, listen, I've understood, I've made a mistake, um, and, and then also welcome her into the fold instead of uh, this performative punishment which, uh, as Conor West is saying, serves ultimately the interest of network more than that of anybody else. The interesting thing is that you know, we have this idea, what I said earlier, this sort of um, modern idea about what race is. What exactly is race? Is it a social construct? Um, many people see it as color. Is it something that's visible? What exactly is it? Let's have that conversation. We'll take a break and we'll talk about it on the other side. We'll be right back.